Hi everyone, just very quickly, uh, this might be useful to some of you. Um, I've had 100% success rate with this and so have the physios at the clinic. Uh, it's for tendinopathies, uh, it used to be known as a tendonitis, that condition still does exist but they're usually tendinopathies which is a bit of a different animal. Um, <clears throat> the thing with tendinopathies, they're quite easy to diagnose. Um, we know what to do to treat them, but they're really stubborn and they take ages because of the nature of the pathology uh, surrounding the tendon. This here, gelatin, you just get from the supermarket. One tablespoon, uh, melt it in boiling water, then uh, have it with Ribena uh, or orange juice. The main thing, you have a lot of vitamin C with it. Um, it takes an hour for it to be available in your system into the bloodstream. Um, what it does, it increases the circulating collagen in the system, tendon, ligament, fascia, uh, most tissues of the body are, are collagen. Um, so it makes uh, the tendon have more of a chance to load collagen into it. Um, the vitamin C alone increases the cross-linking of the collagen, so um, like fingers moving together, um, so pulling things together, so it helps, helps that tensile strengthening. Um, yeah, so one tablespoon, melted water, vitamin C, uh, wait an hour, do exercises the physio has given you, um, so they're loading exercises for the tendon. Um, how do you know if it's a tendinopathy? You'll know from a scan, you'll know from a physio telling you. Um, uh, it's known as, uh, common ones are uh, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, um, supraspinatus issues, so pain just here that might radiate down through here, pain in the forearm, upper forearm there, uh, around the elbow, uh, the knee, <coughs> so this part of the knee here, um, the bottom of the buttock, the hamstring insertion, they're common ones, or the Achilles tendon, so they're common tendon sites, the overload issues is what they are, um, so uh, we treat it with, uh, with gelatin, um, within a week there's a change, um, uh, and for my knee, 18 months of um, doing everything that I knew to, to help it, and it helped to a degree, but it was very stubborn. Uh, Three weeks of taking gelatin, almost completely vanished, and the tendon felt different as well. So, um, uh, tendinopathies are easy to, one of the easiest things to know about tendinopathies, it's like it's sore right where the tendon is, it's like someone will point to it, it's like it's sore just here, or on the knee, it's really sore here. They don't tend to go, it's all sore around here. So, um, uh, the research suggesting that maybe it's good for osteoarthritis of knees, so articular cartilage um, and ligaments, it makes sense it would be totally effective in ligaments, but the research is just on tendons because it's quite clear how you treat that and, uh, and load it and things like that. But um, if you've got major problems, it's worthwhile getting assessed by someone. Uh, but the gelatin is huge for, and this is for anyone in your family or yourself, um, the 100% success, it's, uh, it's quite unbelievable. It would be nice if the body wasn't 100% treatable all the time. So this, this is helping massively. Thanks guys, see you tonight.